my name is Emer. Um, I'm and I'm from Cardona, and this is um my dad. Um, Colm, Sweeney. Yeah. Um, tell me your story because it's obviously raising your own today. I'd love to know more. Yeah, well, I suppose um from the very beginning, you know, mum and dad uh, built their house in two thousand seven, two thousand and eight. When the recession happened, it wasn't the best time to. To probably build a house but you know Sinead and I, my sister we um, watched them build it and you know it was a struggle and not the easiest times to but whenever we got into the house um, you know we thought it was a castle like we had our own rooms and they were massive and we had Christmases, Halloweens, communions, confirmations, birth parties, sleepovers, everything and you know we loved it um, and you know we started to see cracks they were Thought there, was, there were settlement cracks, more like um, mum and dad. He's never really got a no, pilot to it for never, years. We never passed any remarks on it at all. Yeah, um, and then, you know, probably about 2017, mum and dad wanted to finish the house. Um, we didn't have the street done, and there was a sitting room that wasn't done as well, so it was a good time to get it finished, but the cracks were just that yeah. bit bigger then. Yeah, um, just and wide now. Before any money was pumped in to finishing off the house, they thought they'd get a... Uh, what was it an inspection? Uh, we just got a visual inspection. We got an engineer to come out just to basically confirm what we already knew. Yeah. Because we didn't we didn't want to waste any money and he did. We got the engineer out and he looked and he just says, Look, don't spend another penny in this house. He says, If if it if it is what they think and we have to pay for it, just turn the key in the door and hand the keys back to the bank. Yeah, that's what I said. I wow, know. that's a that's a very hard that conversation hard. to have. Yeah. How did you feel? It's hard to watch mum and dad go. Uh, it was tough. <laughs> very, very tough. Because your hopes and dreams are you want yeah, home, well, kids, memories. Do you know like mm. up here I think especially, you know, you, you build a house, you pay for a house. It's something to leave your kids when you go. That's basically taken away from me. And it's all consuming as well. I mean, from from then on, you know, that has consumed our lives. Yeah. And not just mum and dad, it's consumed Sinead and I's life as well. The sense that we see them go through it, we see them struggle to accept it at times as well. You yeah. know, there was a lot of that denial. Um, you know, even though to look at it, you would know straight away. There's no pride in the house. You know, those kind of happy memories and that perception you have of your nice, safe home. Um, is depleted straight away and you know years have passed and we've moved on with our lives in the sense of you know Sinead's off to uni now I'm finished uni and I've you know started my own career and things like that but mentally you're still stuck in that you know plight of worry and stress um, you can't move on from it well for you, for you coming home you're still coming home to a house that you know what isn't right it's your, yeah. your, your house is still it's, it's a mess to even drive and look, you're looking at a, a me just a complete mess. So for you, this 100% for you is the way forward, I suppose. So anyway. It has to be. Yeah. This isn't our fault. It's this is not our fault. I don't even understand how this is even a question. Why? This has to be 100%. There, there's no other options here. Like, it's just... It's, I just um I still wake up in the morning baffled as to why people are questioning us and the and people in power. It's just it's, I just I can't actually get my head wrapped around it. I just don't understand it. I really, really don't understand it. Your home is supposed to be something that um you know you come home to and it's your safe place. Um and it's not for thousands of people in Donegal and, and wider. It's it's not and any night there's big winds or there's a storm. You're, th you're not thinking about anything else other than what about this house, what about that crack and what about that water coming in at the top of the window, you know, and, and we're not, you know, there's people that are at wor way worse yeah. stages that have had their houses up longer than us, but, you know, we're looking at them and, and we know what's down the road. Yeah. And we're not seeing any progress in terms of 100% and redress and, you know, there's no other way. You know, a 90-10 isn't a true 90-10 and it's, it's never not. going to be, you know, um, and it's just, it's it, hard. It makes you angry, you know, the anger that you feel is just is nuts. To sit and beg for so, your house to be fixed. You guys can just say it straight in the camera, what do you want? 
We just want 100% redress. We, we deserve it. This is, this is not our fault. We need the 100% redress. They're not ask, we're not asking for anything um, any more than what we've already had as a house, a safe house. We don't want big fancy houses. We don't want anything more than what we already have. We're not looking for anything extra. We just want to be put in the position that when we entered into, he's entered into mortgages yeah. and contracts to have a safe house, nothing else, just just fixed. And you know that worry and that stress will the, hopefully be. Our government has the power to take all our pain away by just saying, yes, we are going to fix your house. This isn't your fault. We will we'll give you the 100% redress. The amount of people that are suffering because them words aren't spoken is it's nuts. You know, you can kind of um, you can kind of remove yourself from from the house in the sense that it's it's bricks and mortar or whatever you want to say. But you know, mentally, and you see mom and dad struggle, and and Sinead and I are sitting there, and all we'd want to do is you know it can be fixed and, and fix it. And, and it's that helplessness of, of not being able to fix anything and it's, it's never ending. We don't see an end of, of this. And I think that's what's hard. You know, after you remove yourself from the house emotionally, it's the struggle in your head that's the hardest and it's the hardest to watch, hardest to see mom and dad go through it. They've worked their whole lives for this, worked hard for to give us, you know, a home and, you know, to see, to see that worth nothing at the minute and, and no end in sight the prospect of having to pay out a lot of money. Um, you know, it's just, you're just stuck in a never ending. Wow. Well, 